How's it going, YouTube? Oxy here, and welcome back. So, got even more pickups. You could call this a part two to the horror movie and some games, because it's basically what it is again. Uh, you know, just really got back into horror ever since I, like, just started, like, really getting back into, like, the Friday the 13th game and, like, that sort of thing. So, got some more DVDs, movies couple games you know black friday sales stuff and you know all that good stuff but without further ado like always you know if you like this type of content i make new videos every tuesdays and saturdays and yeah you know subscribe and give it a chance you never know what you'll find but let's get into it all right so i jumped over the table matrix style <laughs> Speaking of Matrix, anyone excited for the new movie coming out? I mean, I know all the talk right now is Spider-Man, but nah, honestly, I, I think Matrix is going to be pretty good. Like, it doesn't look bad. I mean, we, we got to hope for the best, right? But yeah, <laughs> so here we'll start with the games. So first I got Earth Defense Force Insect Armageddon. At first I thought this was the uh, Xbox exclusive one. It's not. But I do own it, the 2017 one. Like you could see it was only like 450. No manual, but again, for that price, I was like, not bad. This looking great. Uh, I got these, like, what was awesome. So when I bought these three games, this one and two others, I got all the discs like resurfaced because I had taken like Jason X and Jason Goes to Hell to get resurfaced at the place. And the guy was like, might as well just do all of them. So. That, you know, shout out to him. Then we got Spec Ops The Line Complete. It's like 17. Now this, so it's made by Jaeger, which I believe are the same team that made the game of the same name, Jaeger, on the original Xbox, which was a console exclusive to Xbox. It was on PC as well. But anyways, uh, this game... I heard really good things about it. Essentially, yeah, it looks like your generic military shooter. But the thing is, this game really has like a psychological story to it. Like it's really one of a kind, honestly. Like, yeah, seriously, it's like, it's, <laughs> damn, it's hard to explain, but it just really messes with the idea of like, I guess what I can say are, like, the consequences of killing. Like, you know, in this game, like, death isn't really, like, a desensitized thing. Like, it really explores, like, the PTSD and, like, that sort of thing. But, yeah, it's on both consoles, PS3. But this is definitely a game I think you should check out. And then we got Whiplash, which, how much was it, 12? So, this is a problem when, you know, you get to my point where you have a huge collection. I already bought this. I wouldn't be surprised if it was from the same place. And yeah, so it's another copy. I do believe this one is better. I mean, here. Yeah, this. I think this one's a better copy. So, of course, if you end up getting duplicates, always, you know, uh, switch out the best of everything. So one has the better artwork, you know, better manual. You get the idea. You combine it to get the best version. Then you sell the other one. And so here we got what I essentially bought for Black Friday. Yeah, like, you know, stores having Black Friday sales like the, all the week prior. So these two, of course, remember, brand new. These would have been $60. But I got them for like, damn, like a fourth of the total price. So here we got Resident Evil Village sealed, as you can see, brand new. For 20 bucks, which was a steal, honestly. Because, you know, this game has only been out, what, a year? Or less than that, I think? Yeah, didn't it come out this year? Like, early this year? But, but yeah, brand new. Very excited to try it. If you remember in the older video, I had gotten 7. Like, brand new as well from a thrift for only $2. So, now I got the sequel. And, yeah, got to play through 7, you know, before I play through this one. Very excited. And hey, if you haven't checked it out, I did review the Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City movie. You know, check it out. 
Uh, <laughs> and not a bad film. And then, of course, Cyberpunk, which, damn, uh, you know, Target was doing a deal. It was $10, brand new, $9.99. Of course, this game has been out over a year. But most places, you know, the lowest they'll go is 20 uh, and yeah, they had it for 10 so I was like, oh, no-brainer. Of course, I have the Series X now, so console-wise, it is the best way to play it. I mean, I am aware that the game is still a mess, and yeah, it's pretty sad that CD Projekt Red, they really tarnished their reputation, but yeah, it was only 10 bucks. so, you know, uh, my investment, if this game turns out to be anal sauce... <laughs> uh, you know, I only lose $10, so not the end of the world. Here we got Blu-rays. So here, got to keep that one to the side. Godzilla vs. Kong, same thing, only 10 bucks. As you can see, sealed Blu-ray, DVD, and the digital code. I mean, I already own all the other MonsterVerse films. You know, the original Godzilla, King of the Monsters, and then Kong Skull Island. So I had to get this one, complete the collection, and it was a great film. Absolutely loved it. Like, seriously, have a review on it as well. You know, go check it out. But, yeah, seriously, great film. Excited to have it again. It was only $10, so no-brainer. I mean, look at that. 20 bucks when brand new. This would be in, what, 60 I believe. Blu-rays, if I'm not wrong, are, they're like 25 maybe 30 So, yeah. Got it for like less than half of what they would have been brand new. And then this one, I honestly bought on like a whim uh, with Godzilla vs. Kong. I wasn't sure about it, but I was like, hey, because uh, I already owned it on DVD, but they had the Blu-ray collection, which had recently just come out. And that is Friday the 13th, the 8th film collection. Again, I already own it on DVD, but here. It was brand new, and I have the proof. As you can see, it includes the first four films newly remastered. So here, I'll show you. Just got to take out the digital code for the films. All right, and then, so yeah, as you can see, it brings one, part two, three and four on their own disc, and then five six seven eight on like you know two and one so six discs in total but yeah it's a i honestly recommend it i had bought the dvd collection like a long time ago i'm pretty sure it was off of ebay or hey maybe like best buy or something but yeah saw it in the store so brand new uh they had it listed at like 58.99 but you could basically say 60 because you know with tax you're paying more than that and it was on sale for $35, $34.99. So think 25 off, almost 50% off. So I was like, oh, I had to get it. And yeah, it looks great. I watched part two on it, you know, hadn't seen it in a while. Man, I got to admit, like the sack Jason, definitely one of the creepiest, like looking. Uh, I mean, you know, film is kind of funny, but yeah. Uh, how to get it, you know, it's uh, the newer, better version of the 8 movie collection. And if you're ever wondering, so why do they always only release up to part 8? It's because Paramount owns the rights to the first 8. Yep, Paramount. And then, you know, 9, 10, Freddy vs. Jason and the remake are New Line Cinema. So that's why you never really see a all 12 collection it's happened before but you know it's like trying to get that's like expensive i've been trying to but yeah i was like i'll just get that and here we're going straight to our dvds i think they're all horror except one so here we got my bloody valentine 3d brand new see it was only six bucks uh, this is a remake, of course, the original, you know, from 1981, I believe, 82. But yeah, it's, you know, the remake. I believe it was one of the first, I forget, it's one of the first films, obviously not 3D, but it was like a new technology, like a newer 3D. And I got, I bought it sealed because it includes four pairs of 3D glasses. So 
It'll be one to try out, of course, with the TV that's compatible. And yeah, it, I guess it brings the disc. So yeah, for six bucks, sealed. Why not? And then this one, you know, uh, Wes Craven, you know, underappreciated uh, series, that being Wishmaster 1 and 2. Complete. It's like a double sided disc. But yeah. Essentially, yeah, the Wishmaster, I mean, it's a slasher in a way, but it's really good set, like, creature design. And he's a djinn, you know, like the, in, um, like, Muslim culture, like, a djinn. Like, you know, uh, he's not a genie. He, I mean, that's how I can describe it. It's, like, similar to a genie. And, you know, be careful what you wish for. And he grants wishes, but they're all there's always a catch to them. You know, your typical, like, deal with the devil. But surprisingly good gore in these films. And again, the creature design is awesome. Underrated series. Sad it didn't really take off. I do believe there's, like, four Wishmasters movies. But the first two are generally considered the better ones. And then, okay... So these next two are the only non-horror, well, and the Blu-rays. <laughs> this is, uh, of course, John Carpenter's Escape from L.A. You know, disc is there. I don't know if it had an insert. Five bucks. I mean, hey, I'll be honest, I got it mainly. Well, Kurt Russell's a badass, you know, like Escape. Uh, Big Trouble in Little China. Of course, the original Escape from New York. And I got this one mainly because Bruce Campbell's in it. Of course, you know, Ash from Evil Dead. He plays, like, the surgeon. It's a smaller role, but it's a fun film. I had never seen it before, or at least it's been years. Because I grew up on, like, you know, 80s action. You know, like, Predator, Arnold movies, like, Rambo. You get the idea. Like, that was my kind of stuff. But, yeah, uh, you know, it's in the similar vein. Got Snake Plissken which I'm pretty sure was the inspiration for Solid Snake, you know, from the Metal Gear series. But yeah, great film. Check it out. CGI doesn't hold up, but then again, I mean, it's from here. Let me see. Where are you from? Movie 96. So it's early CG. Then we got Dark Man, uh, which is like basically Sam Raimi wanted to do a superhero movie. But, you know... Uh, <laughs> this is before Spider-Man, so he essentially made up his own character. Not a bad film. It's an interesting concept where he can, like, switch fate. Like, he gets all burnt up. So, like, they destroyed everything he had, everything he was. Now crime has a new enemy, and justice has a new face. And he can, like, swap his face around. Pretty cool film. I've never seen it before, but I heard good things about it. Sealed and, like, look, it was only $2.50, bruh. DVDs, like, that's one thing I can definitely say is that, like, if you want to get into, like, flipping, DVDs are really a great, you know, like, side hustle. Because, again, this is sealed. This might not, not be worth much, but you get the idea that, like, you can really find some gems because people... Like, anywhere, Facebook, or like, thrift stores, they're selling these for, like, a dollar, two dollars a piece. Then you got the Hannibal Lecter 2-pack, The Silence of the Lambs, and, of course, Hannibal. Uh, I mean, what is there to say? Hannibal is, like, a, it's not really a sequel. I think it's more of, like, a reimagining. But then, of course, the classic, The Silence of the Lambs. Great film, seriously um i highly recommend it if you're if you have friends that like aren't really into horror and you know you want to get them into it seriously great film especially if they've never seen it before look i won't say anything but the twists are really good it's a great film seriously but yeah the classic i mean had to get it this one was like what 6 30 and then <laughs> video game adaptation but you know love the games silent hill is it's underrated look it's not as bad as people try to make it out to be complete I believe it's like under five bucks yep 450 the first one silent hill revelations is dog shit don't even bother but yeah 
you know, haven't seen it again. I heard it's pretty underrated, so I'm gonna check it out. And then, dun dun dun! <laughs> the Howling. It's complete, like, slipcover and all. Let's see if we could get it off. And yeah, pretty clean disc. You can see it's all there. And this one, if I'm not wrong, 510, like, five bucks. Uh, what does it say? It's a werewolf movie. So the series is pretty, like, the sequels just get really bad. But I heard that the first one especially is, like, a pretty good, as you can see. One of the best, well, was supposed to say, werewolf movies ever made. So, yeah, you know, just don't know too much about it. Again, similar to most, heard good things about it. So we'll see, right? And then another great film from Dust Till Dawn, you know, Robert Rod Rodriguez. Of course, you have Quentin Tarantino starring and, you know, he wrote the screenplay. So it's not an official Tarantino film, but you get it. It's as close as you can get. Great film. And, of course, this brings the full tilt boogie, which I believe is like the documentary. Yeah, go behind the scenes. Yeah, it's like the extras with the... Because, of course, you can get just Dust Till Dawn, but... I specifically was like, oh, you know, I'll get this version. And for so look, you can see it was only three eighty five. And for some reason, the version that's just the movie was more expensive. They had it for like five bucks. But it's a great film. Again, I I won't talk about it because seriously, it's a really good one. And especially for people that have never seen it before, you know, ever you know, you know what I'm talking about when when it hits, you know the bar scene yeah <laughs> it's pretty great it's a it's a great film and then finally i was hoping to find this and thankfully i did for 510 sealed and that is trick-or-treat classic seriously just like the quote says the quintessential halloween film so i saw it never came out in theaters sadly you know went like it's one of those straight to dvd joints but seriously, underrated, fantastic. Of course, most of you are probably familiar with Sam here. Our, uh, not really our main character, but he ties it all together. Because this film is an anthology. You know, a bunch of like shorter stories that in normal, normally in horror anthologies aren't connected. But here they are. Or like, you know, one ends and then like you see... Like a scene, like you'll see Sam doing something, or characters will be doing something, and then in the next story, it's like connected, or like, oh, that person walked by. Like, seriously, great. If you've never seen it before, I highly recommend it. The best horror anthology in years. Seriously, it's great. It's a great film. They did have the slip cover version, but that, you know, shows Sam's face on the cover, but. Again, I was like, I, I'd rather just get it sealed. The disc on the other one was pretty beat up. And I think it was a little more expensive. Again, I seriously, whoever was pricing these must have been, like, <laughs> you know, drunk or something. Because, like, yeah, they're, all the sealed stuff was, like, cheaper. And then, just like this, the, <laughs> the version, you know, just the base version without the extras was more expensive. And the disc is, like, clean. So it's like, doesn't make any sense. But yeah, that was the stuff. So let's get to the end recap, shall we? What'd you guys think? Not bad, huh? <laughs> but in total, we have 16 items, five games, you know, got two 360 games, one original Xbox, and then two Xbox One. And again, Black Friday really came in clutch, I guess. Hey, no TVs or anything like that, but, you know, in terms of media, two Blu-rays. Of course, this is a whole collection, and I highly recommend. Seriously, the, you know, if I still have it, yeah. The little thing about the first four newly remastered, it looks great. Part two, the colors really popped, like, it looks crisp. And then, of course, good film. And then that leaves us with... What is it? Nine DVDs in total. And what is there to say? Just, you know, again, back into horror. Just great films. Seriously, 
if, if there's one I gotta recommend out of all these, Trick or Treat, check it out. It's a great film. I love it. And of course, I mean, look at Sam, you know? Who, who would have known? Stone Cold Killer right there. You, yeah, you believe me, you don't want to see him on, on <laughs> you know, the corner of the street on Halloween. And then, yeah, you know, just boom, boom, you get the idea. You know, just a bunch of media, physical media. And I know a lot of you might be like, oh, bro, why don't you just get like, I don't know, Peacock or HBO. You know, you can watch these like on there, right? Or whatnot. Well, I mean, here, look, for example, uh, the thing about DVDs that will just always be superior to digital is that the extras. You know, Trick or Treat brings, like, the original cartoon that the this film was inspired by. Like, the little short. Again, you get the extras, the making of from Dust Till Dawn. You don't get that on streaming services. And I guess that's one thing that just physical, whether it's games or, like, movies is... I don't know. You know, it's like, if streaming or just digital, like, purchases would include those things... It'd be nice. And, of course, I know some some will bring, like, music and stuff like that. And, hey, I get it, rights, you know. Maybe it's not that company doesn't exist anymore. You get it. It's just a lot of legality with those sort of things. But, again, that's why it's just... I mean, think, within my lifetime, like, these discs should still be good, you know. I mean, hey, maybe in, like, 100 years, yeah, they'll start to rot away. But as long as you take care of them, you know, in a good, nice... You keep them, you know, room temperature, like, you get it, like, in uh, desirable conditions. Everything's all good. But, yeah, that's why I prefer physical. And let me know what you thought, guys. I know it's a longer video, but, you know, just had to give little overviews of everything. So, hey, tell me, which one are you going to check out or should I, I check out? But, as always, guys, you know... <laughs> That's that's the video. I make new ones, as I said, Tuesdays and Saturdays. You know, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all of that good jazz. <laughs> and as always, guys, I've been your host, Oxy. Take care. <laughs>